The Pittsburgh Steelers had another impressive victory. This time, they beat the Cleveland Browns 20-17. I'm very proud of how the Steelers played today's game. They played fantastic football. They found a way to beat their bitter AFC rival, the Browns, and they beat them in a close game. The Steelers did well. Washington scored that great touchdown. Snell scored a touchdown. The defense is playing very well. Joe Hayden, the former Browns player, he intercepted Baker Mayfield to seal the deal for the Steelers. So the offense is playing well. They're doing just enough to help the team win. Defensively, they're doing their thing. They're playing lights out football. I'm very proud of that Steelers defense. To hold the high power scoring round to 17 points is very, very, very impressive. That is not easy to do. OBJ, Odell Beckham Jr., only had what? Three receptions for 29 yards? That's tough to do. And Landry was negated for the most part. He did not have a 100 yard receiving day. He only had what? About 73 yards, I believe, receiving. So he didn't do too much. Nick Chubb was held under 100 yards rushing. So this defense is playing very well. So the offense is doing great. They're doing just enough. They're scoring just enough points to help the team win. And then the defense is shutting the opposing offense. So they're playing very well. I like what they did on Sunday. Duck Hodges, I believe he is the guy going forward for the Steelers this season. Now, I don't know if he's going to be the long-term solution at quarterback. But from what I'm seeing, Duck Hodges is playing well. And the Steelers should definitely continue playing him until Ben Roethlisberger is healthy. So I like what he did. I like the Steelers' ground game. Despite having injuries to key offensive players, they're doing very well. I'm proud of the team. We have to give big kudos to Mike Tomlin because he had this team ready to go on Sunday. It's very easy for a team that has had so many injuries to its key offensive players, it's very easy for that team to give up on the season. But Mike Tomlin did not allow that. He always has his team ready to play. Despite losing Roethlisberger, despite losing Judas Smith-Schuster, they are playing very well offensively. And it's not easy. It's not easy to play in the NFL with de a depleted offensive roster. To lose key players, to lose your quarterback or your wide receiver, and to still win, this is really good. In fact, I strongly believe that Mike Tomlin should be considered NFL Coach of the Year. He should be in consideration for that award because his team is overcoming so many obstacles to win. And they're winning. They're 7-5. and five. And they're going to keep winning and they will make it to the playoffs. You can go ahead and book it. He's got his team ready to go. They always give 110% no matter who's on the field. They're not making excuses. Most teams that lose key offensive players, especially the starting quarterback, especially a starting wide receiver. Most teams that are in the Steelers predicament, they are not doing well. They're not playoff contenders. But the Steelers are the exception. They're finding ways to win. Their defense is playing well. Offensively, they're doing just enough to win. And I'm proud of this team. This is a special team. And when they make it to the playoffs, they're going to cause big noise in the AFC, for sure. They will cause headaches for any team that they face in the playoffs. So they're going to keep on winning, and they're going to keep improving game by game. And the future looks very bright for this team. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. You should definitely subscribe to my channel. If you have not done so already, just press that subscribe button below this video. If you did that, I'd really appreciate it. And plus, by subscribing, you wouldn't miss out on any future content that I post. So, you should definitely, definitely, definitely subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope that all of you have a blessed, wonderful day.